Hey guys, this is a special video dedicated to the winner of my last challenge, Reclaim Yourself, which was on the 20th of January. Jacqueline is the winner of this challenge. In this video, you're going to see an amazing interview that I had with myself and the winner who is actually in Canada. So she's an international client who did my 12 weeks challenge and she's joining in for the next Slay in 12 challenge. So make sure you do watch this interview, see the process that she went to and see if you relate to it as well. And I'll chat to you guys as soon as the interview is done. But make sure you just subscribe to my channel, give me a thumbs up and really enjoy this interview and watch the whole thing because it's such a beautiful story that I share with myself and Jacqueline in this special interview. Oh, there we got it. Yay! Yay! <laughs> Hi, Hi, how are you? How are you? I'm good. I'm talking to you. <laughs> I know. This is so crazy. I am. Um, so I had literally, I was just thinking like, what can I do more? Because obviously there was like, I'm sending you the prizes and stuff. Um, mm -hmm. And then I'm thinking, I haven't actually conversed with you. I haven't heard your voice. I've heard your voice through social media. Yeah. And, you know what? It'd be really nice to, you know, record and film this and obviously mm -hmm. take everyone through your journey. Cause I think it's really inspiring. Like, and it's just amazing. And one, you've had such an amazing um, result transformation and, you know, your journey is just beginning too. So talk to me, like, how have you, how have, how has this challenge been for you compared to other challenges? Well, I haven't been in too many challenges. I've maybe been in like two or three, but this one is different because of you. Like <laughs> just the amount of support that you've given me and to all the girls, like you going live every day, seeing your beautiful face on Instagram when I like hit your stories and then, you know, um, just even the group itself, like all us girls follow each other, right? So then we get to encourage each other and cheer us on and this journey, it's been, it's been a long one for me. Like I've, I don't know if I ever told you, but like I've been on this fitness journey for about a year and a half now. So, and prior to meeting you, I was in um, a bit of a plateau. Like I had lost about 40 pounds and then over the Christmas holidays, cause I joined the tribe in about at the end of December. So yeah, so, um, so it's just been, it's just been crazy. Like I was in that, I was just feeling really frustrated. Um, I, you know, just trying everything I can. I was in a plateau. I stayed the same weight for two months. I haven't seen any progress for two months. I was trying everything. I, you know, did the absolute worst, which is hours of cardio and, you know, restricting myself and then skipping out on events because I'm like, oh, there's going to be food there. And just like those very, and like my story is very similar to others. Like yeah. I know so many women and girls and, and guys too, that have food anxiety that just don't know where to turn to and I think it's because people lack the knowledge or they're getting knowledge from not really the best sources <laughs> so you know it. hence yeah so then um I found you through Lauren I do love Lauren um and then, I don't know I there was just something about you Tam I just was like, oh, and then at that same time, Lauren had a challenge. I'm like, oh, well, maybe this Tamla, and it's like the universe heard me. And as I said that, it was like a day or two later, you come out with the reclaim challenge. And I was like, I'm joining this like ASAP because I thrive on challenges. Yes. So, and then I, and then the rest is kind of history where I just, you know, um, you're giving out the correct information. Um, really pouring all your knowledge into me and into all the girls and you know you're not just a fitness influencer yes you're an influencer but you're like a co you're a real coach like you really just like really blow it out of the park for me <laughs> uh, honestly yeah. oh, I don't even know where to begin thank you one thank you for your encouragement and um, even myself as a coach hearing reassurance like that makes me really happy because um Sometimes I worry I don't give enough for people or for my clients. Um, so to hear that I 
all these positive things throughout the beginning you've, from the journey you've started to now, you know, I just want to say thank you for that. Um, and thank you for being part of the tribe too. And trusting me is a big thing too. And I think for me right now, you know, hearing that you've plateaued and you've gone through, you know, different things. I think the biggest thing I really want to dive into is, you know, um, the food anxiety that you've mentioned, you know, how do, how can we, like, I feel like you're going to be inspiring so many women now um, and you're inspiring me too. And I think that's something that we need to educate people is there's, everyone has a different story and you might have a story that's similar to a lot of women and you mentioned food anxiety. So explain that and, you know, how did you overcome it or how are you working on it? Um, yeah, let's go through. Yeah, for sure. So <laughs> um, some of the patterns I guess I had with food was not only restricting my food, but also thinking carbs are bad, dairy's bad. I need to cut, 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 cut. These are no good for you. And that is so not the case. And I think that just came from um, just old patterns. Um, once again, getting information from the wrong places. And also, um, you know, just within myself, I just, I've always kind of struggled with my weight. Like it's always been kind of an issue for me. And then trying multiple different diets, fad diets, like you name it, I've tried it. So, yeah. um, so then working through that was first of all, acknowledging that I have these anxieties is mm -hmm. I think is the first step. And then also just educating myself that there are ways that we can look at food in a different way. And it doesn't have to be the, such an anxiety, this big thing. And like, as you say, memories over macros, yeah. you know, you need to go out and enjoy your best friend's birthday and not feel so crabby about it after, you know, like, um, like I would skip out on events because I knew there's going to be food and I'm like, I can't control myself. Mm. I can't like, you know, I would just feel so like just that edge and I would want to avoid that. Yeah. So I guess in saying that, um, a book I want to recommend is the obstacle is away by Ryan holiday it's on my list. So, yes. Mm -hmm. So good because basically yeah. in this book, he's saying like, through your struggle, you know, that obstacle, that big, scary thing, you need to go through that. Mm -hmm. you, have to. you have to, because on the, it's not really the destination of where, you know, like reaching the goal or working through that obstacle. It's who you become through the process of working through it. So for me, I had to deal with it head on. Yeah. Because it was, it's holding me, it's stopping me from leveling up. So finding mentors like yourself really is the key. Finding, you know, people that know who they're talking about have been through the path. Like yeah. you've been, you've been through your own, you know, struggles too, you know, and I think um, it's just finding something you really relate to yeah. and, you know, just, um, facing it head on you there's no other way really I know. <laughs> like that book, the obstacle is the way, so. obstacle is the way. and it's funny you say that about struggles because I'm such a big I used to be someone who was ashamed of my struggles and I used it as an excuse um and it was only a few years ago I've started to harness that you are you know you become you're not you don't become your struggles but your struggles are what define who you are as a person when you overcome it you know um and it's you know when you start to share your struggles to other people, so many people can relate to it too. And you start to see the positives of those things that you go through. It's like, it's teaching you something. Um, so mm -hmm. I think that's a really beautiful thing to hear. Um, the fact that you use education, mentoring, uh, looking for the right coaches, mm -hmm. it, everything you've done in this challenge has definitely rewarded you with all the benefits. Um, and in saying that too, like I know we've conversed in emails, you've had good days and bad days. You know, how do you, how do you overcome those bad days? You know, there was a lot of, and I think this is what I really love about you. You always took on everything I said, even when things were bad, you always still reached out and emailed me. And then we would always reflect on your small wins and the little things. And I know that this, this is a long journey and it's obviously still continuing on. We're going to keep going. Um, but I guess for the viewers and for the followers, like how do you overcome those bad days? Um, well, I think us as women, 
we're always like, we got to take care of everybody else. We're always, we got to take care of the kids, the boyfriend or husband, everybody else. Yeah. So you have to really look after yourself and just focus on being 1% better every day. I just focus 1% better. You know, 1% might be that I go for a, you know, that I say no to something that's not on my plan. That was my 1%. And I just focus on that and just focus on that positivity because, you know, we're all going to have hard days. I am not motivated some days. We're all, that's life, but it's, and that's why I love your program and what you have going on within the tribe is because it's not just, you know, you're teaching us the skills that we can do this for the rest of our life because the ha living a healthy lifestyle it is, it's in the name. It's a lifestyle. We got to do this for the rest of our life. We need something that's sustainable. So getting through, everyone has hard days. It's just not turning that bad day into a bad week, into a bad month, and then allowing it to continue. So if I had a bad day of eating, if I maybe, you know, even a bad week, you know, I own up to it. I don't blame anybody else. I take that accountability. And then we, I immediately, I take immediate action. So yeah. what is something I can do today mm. that can solve this? So you know, for example, um, I think one of the weeks that I think you're talking about was I went to my parents' place, but I didn't pack my food. And then I went off plan. I felt really bad. You know, I felt bad in the moment, but I'm like, okay, like I made a mistake. So what, what can we do? Immediate action. I'm going to meal prep. I'm going to make sure I pack my food with me every day i'm gonna have a buy a cooler whatever it is it might it's different for everybody but mm -hmm. that's how i deal with the you know when you have i guess a slip up and then yeah. you know dealing with that yes yeah. you sound like so educated and so motivating already like i don't know if this is like, for me right i always look into people's stories and for me right now jacqueline i see like a really big future for you in terms of you being a motivational speaker, you know, you inspiring. Yeah. I really see that like, because you know, everything you're saying is so on point, you know, and it just sounds like you have the right tools and necessities to keep going, you know? Um, what was like the hardest? Cause I always feel like there's a, a point in the challenge where it becomes really hard. And then you have that, that road where you have to either decide to give up or to keep going. And I find that's always like, weeks either six or even just before week six halfway mark people kind of get a bit so what encouragement or you know in like wise words you can give to anyone that is in that process where they don't know whether they can keep going or not to give up or do they do give up you know what you have to focus on being the best version like asking yourself if you have to imagine yourself as the best version of yourself and then you need to step into that person. Like for myself, like it's taken me a long time, a lot of mindset, um, a lot of, you know, um, educating myself on being the best version of myself, you know, working on my mindset. But, you know, um, I think that point for me, I think everyone can relate to this is when this pandemic hit. When yes. this pandemic hit. Yes. Um, when all the gyms start being closed, when, you know, um, some of my coworkers were being laid off, people were losing, their, you know, just the whole world in general kind of come to a halt. And I was, I kind of was like, oh my gosh, like, how am I going to do this? I'm like, well, I'm just going to wait till the gym opens. Wow. And then I learned it's probably not going to open for a while. So, yeah. you know, this pandemic is not going to wait for you, for, you know, not going to put on hold your goals. Like you need, we have to push through. We have to you know, as you've taught us is we are strong and we can get through this mm -hmm. and we just need to learn to get really creative. I've gotten super creative with, you know, the workouts mm -hmm. and, you know, doing fun things. And it's actually really, um, it's been a really positive thing, um, you know, for myself because I've learned that there's still more in me. Like, you know, I don't give up that easily that I, I am resilient and we are all resilient. You just got to find that within yourself and everyone's journey is different, but I really do believe that this pandemic is, is a positive thing. Not, you know, in the sense that it's really pushed us 
to um, adapt and to, you know, to reach out and be there for each other. You know, we're very, I'm very thankful we live where we have all this technology where I can talk to you. You're all the way across the pond. So, you know, I get that opportunity to talk to you. Like, that's wonderful. So, you know, um, it's more just got to focus on the positives. So. I really like that you said that the pandemic has been like a positive because so many people have looked at it as, well, because we're going through this, they're not going to do A, B or C. Whereas you're like, because this has happened, I'm going to get through it and adapt rather than give up. And I think that's the biggest Mm -hmm. message that people need to hear. Um, I also have had this adapting shift where I feel like it's been the best thing that's happened to me in a way, because it's making me, as you said, think outside this, the, the square, you know, think about other ways to help people or other ways to train. Um, and I guess as well, it makes you think about how to reconnect with yourself or your people in your life. Um, makes you do, it makes you appreciate what's more important, you know, like the fact that I don't have any lashes on anymore or makeup. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, I don't need that anymore. I think the biggest uh, focus for me has been, you know, the tribe and you guys. And I think that's so beautiful that you've used COVID as a positive, you know, Mm -hmm. Um, now I know your future goals. I remember you do want to compete next year or the year after, I think. Yes. How's that? Is that something you're still focusing on? And yes, that is my big, hairy, audacious goal. And (laughs) every time I was on the trip, like if I didn't complete my steps, um, I would go up when we had the gym, (laughs) I'd go upstairs and I would just tell myself, you know, I'm a WBFF athlete. I would like just, just constant. I would like envision myself, you know, on stage and how that moment would feel and, you know, the color of the bikini I'm going to wear and like how I'm going to look and, you know, how many people that I could potentially help with my process. Cause I'm, I'm no different. Like I'm just a girl that just wants to better myself, you know, and I think that's pretty relatable. A lot of people can relate, you know, so, and I promise like, if I can do it, anybody can like, yeah, man, I just like, I just know there's somebody out there that's thinking I can never do that or I can't get the results. It's like, you can, you just need the right mentorship, the right mindset and the right goals. Like, but yes, I definitely am th- definitely having competing on my radar. So. And I love that because um, yeah. you, one, you, I remember when you told me this through email, it was, it wasn't like this year, it was like next year. And it, that's a beautiful mm-hmm. thing because you're looking at a, a, you're looking at everything in a long-term goal rather than a short-term goal, which is a lot of, which I find that's what a lot of people do. Uh, and it sets them to fail because they put these expectations in front of them so soon. Um, whereas for you, you've had mini goals and then you've had bigger goals and then you've had a realistic approach, which I think is really inspiring. You even just reminded me of things like the visualization is really important. Mm-hmm. The fact that you visualize the bikini, you know, you think about how you want to inspire people and that feeling and that sensation. Um, I just want to say thank you because I sometimes, even my own self, forget these little things. Like you need to really envision that sensation, the feeling of what it feels like. Um, so thank you for reminding me. Um, and I'm so excited to, to show you the next challenge, you know. Um, part of the reason why this challenge is happening is because of the, the COVID-19 um, mm-hmm. I kind of wanted to help women become mentally tough, you know, strong Mm -hmm. and help them get through this next three to six months, you know, because in my head, I'm hoping in the next three months, we're going to overcome this and then move on to the next phase. Um, So this next challenge is cool because there's a lot of homework involved. I hope you're prepared for that. Oh, I can't wait. I love like anything mindset coaching, I'm all over that. So I absolutely just like can't wait because it's, I know it's going to be fabulous. Well, it's, I mean, it's, I'm so excited. <laughs> I know. And I think even yourself, I was speaking to Susanna just on the phone. We we're thinking about how we can incorporate, you know, the tribe more so. And I think it'd be really cool inviting people individually throughout the week to speak in the forum, uh, to encourage mm-hmm. other females, I thought. And we, definitely had you in mind because you are so motivating you have a story and I think (laughs) to have people reconnect with you I think they're gonna they're definitely gonna find um something to relate to and just be inspired and I think that's beautiful 
um, what's been the best thing about the challenge? Um, or even, so I'll, I'll split the questions up. Best thing about the challenge. And then the second question is, what did you discover about yourself that you didn't know beforehand? I think the best thing about the challenge is probably um, the forum or the, our group of girls that we have because everybody like it's a smaller group of girls you know so um i feel like we connect with each other like more regularly so i know there's a few girls i even have in mind that i know i talk to through instagram we're all liking and commenting and messaging each other and just showing a lot of the support like you don't get a lot of that in some of the other fitness challenges or groups that I've been a part of. So I know there's like a little, you know, it's just kind of a gray area, but with this tribe is like so good. So I would say that's probably the best part is just all the girls I've kind of met through online, you know, and being able to support each other. And then the second question was, Oh what, my goodness. What did you discover about yourself? Oh, discover. Oh yeah. <laughs> um, probably how much I really have within myself, like with a resiliency, um, just how much grit I kind of got, like, you know, just when I think some of those workouts were, you know, were really tough. And, um, just when I think I don't have, I, I would just say to myself like 1%, just like one more. And like, I'd be able to pull out like five more and I'm like, yes, like, <laughs> you know, just kind of just that I have way more in me and a lot, and I have potential, like I have potential to be the best version of myself to achieve that. These goals that I've set for myself are more realistic than I originally probably thought of. Mm -hmm. So, and I see that through my progress, you know, through the whole challenge, like my body change, like the shape, my shape has changed. I'm not a potato. Oh no. But <laughs> I was so, I was just like, wow. So yeah. hence why, like I, and anyone that doesn't know, um, you know, between the reason why I chose you as a winner is like, not just because of your results, that's a definitely a big factor of it. Um, but it's uh, the contribution you had in the tribe, the communication within you and I through emails, the shift in mindset that changed within you and the discovery that you had. And you, you really took on board everything I said. Um, and even when things were tough, you still pushed through. And I think the biggest thing was as well, like you connected with the girls and myself through social media and you weren't scared to post about yourself as well, because I know you would have looked at it as in a bigger picture of this may help other people. Um, so that's why you have definitely been the winner of this challenge. Um, and that's why I can't wait to see you continue on for the next one. Um, mm -hmm. And obviously like the last thing I really want to mention was what advice, like what advice can you give other women out there who are sitting on that fence and they're like, I'm not sure whether I can join, whether it's they're scared, they're unsure. Um, they don't trust themselves. They might be scared of failing. Like what advice do you give to people who are on the fence? I would just say that you just, you are one step away from changing your life and changing, you know, like the whole course of your path. You can be the, anybody you want to be. Like you can change your story anytime. If you're tired of feeling down, depressed, you know, you can change that. Like I said, you know, mentioned earlier, it's just taking the right combination of your mindset, um, finding a good mentor, you know, and dedicating, you know, and loving yourself ultimately, because when we do these things, um, you know, like joining these challenges or, you know, even getting our nails done or whatever it could be, it could be anything self-care related, you know, you're ultimately loving yourself. So I would just say, take that step. What's the worst that can happen? Like, you know, like it's, you have nothing to lose. We, you know, um, especially during this time, we have nothing but time. You know, everyone, I see a lot of people, I don't have time. It's like, well, now we have an abundance of time. So, you know, what's the worst that can happen, right? So, you know, I just, that's what I would say. So, yeah. Wow, that's so, you have, like, that's probably the best answer I've heard. And that's, again, um, why I think you definitely do deserve the prize, the winning thing. Oh, thank you. Biggest 
achievement or what prize is just the results you've had and the discovery within yourself too. So what's the next 12 weeks looking like in terms of res like, res um, not results, but what you want to accomplish is the next slay in 12 challenge. Um, I'm still kind of in the adapting phase of, you know, switching to home workouts, kind of finding a different routine. Um, so yeah. I definitely want to get that routine established and super strong, but I also, um, just want to help other people, like inspire other people. You know, when you posted my photo, I was like, oh my gosh, like, you know, like, is anybody going to see this? <laughs> like, and, you know, so many people have already reached out to me and, you know, I am an open book. Like, if you want to talk about anything, just message me. Like, I am so open to helping other people because, you know, I wish that I had someone like you or someone like me when I was even like five years ago, or even when I first started my journey, like I wish I had a mentor or even just someone to relate to or to talk to. So that's, that's what... you know, the big thing there. <laughs> oh, I'm so glad I called you. Um, it's beautiful to just converse with you. And it's just, I know, share. like you're so like you've just inspired me on a whole new level, you know? Like, oh, good. I'm so glad. Like, and I'm excited to see the next phase for you. I like that adapting thing. That's a really good goal. Mm -hmm. It is hard, but again, like yeah. you, you know that nothing worth fighting for comes easy, right? So yes, absolutely. Um, you know, we're all just, you know, especially through this time, um, it's been very hard on all of us. Like, you know, and even you going live, I think there, it was like last week and you're just like, I have taught you girls to be strong. We can get through this. We are going to get through this. And, but we just need to put the system in place to be able to succeed during this time. So yeah. I just can't wait for all the new workouts and all the new program and the mindset coaching. I just can't wait. So I know it'll be wonderful. So. Oh, thank you. I just, yeah, just thank you. Oh my goodness. I just, I'm still speechless. Like, I just don't even know. It seems like a dream almost that I actually won it. And it's stuff. funny because so I've been online and announced <laughs> the forum. I'm like, I don't even know if she's awake. So yeah, like I better put a post on Instagram because then she can wake up to that as well. And it's like, look at you. <laughs> I know you're 15 hours ahead of me. So I was sleeping, but it, let me tell you, it was the most beautiful thing to wake up to. I was just like, did this really just happen? I was like, oh my gosh, like <laughs> it was awesome. Did you think you were going to, you were going to win? Did you have a feeling? No, not at all. I thought I maybe had a good chance. Like I was like, oh, like, but you know, I was like, who knows? Like, so it was just a even better. But like you said, the biggest, you know, prize is you know who I became through it, and you know, I learned so so much, and it's just been really great. Thank you, my darling, and um, I am. Um... I'm very proud of you. And again, congratulations. Um, Thank you. <laughs> share this video for everyone to see. And I, I am, I definitely mean this from the bottom of my heart. I do believe that you're going to have this new world where people are going to look up to you and you're going to mm -hmm. inspire other women. You know, this isn't over yet for you. You've got a massive yes. journey ahead of you where I think this is going to open up other opportunities along the way not just result wise, but speaking to yeah. a whole room of people, if not thousands, I, I see. Something. Oh, I, Oh, I hope so. That would, that would just be a dream. It really would. Cause ultimately I just, you know, I just wish there was someone like me when, even when I was younger or like, you know, just, just someone just to believe in me, like you've believed in me, you know, like I really, you know, you saying you have potential, you can do it. I'm proud of you. Like, you know, not saying I didn't get that from other people, you know, I have my wonderful boyfriend and he's just been the most supportive person, but you know, to actually like believe it, then be able to project that and give that to somebody else and say, you know, you can do this. Like that's, that's really like fulfilling to me. So <laughs> I'm glad. <laughs> and I'm excited to see where this takes you. So thank you so much for taking the time to chat to me. Um, of course. I appreciate you and I will chat to you further. Be sure to check the mailbox throughout the next couple of weeks on all your mm -hmm. cool things that you're getting. Um, 
But yeah, again, love you so much. And I will see you shortly and chat to you more about the challenge coming up. <laughs> oh, I can't wait. I love you too, yeah. town. Thank you so much again. Bye. Bye. Have a good one. <laughs> But that was just the interview with my beautiful client, my TMF Slay Girl, Jacqueline. She's amazing and she's continuing on to the next challenge, the Slay in 12. Now the Slay in 12 challenge is going to be happening on the 20th of April next week. So that is six days from now. And if you are watching this and you really were inspired with Jacqueline's story, then this is your time to shine, to be part of the tribe as well. And you too can join the challenge too and be part of this next amazing 12 week transformation as well as being coached with my methods on mindset coaching, especially during the COVID-19 period. I will be going through with you guys in the next 12 weeks on how you can change your mindset during this period, you know, still be focusing on your training at home as well as your nutrition too, which is something I customize for all my girls at home too. So would love to have you guys join. Make sure you do. The link is in the description of this video. Would love to have you guys join the Slay in 12 challenge, just like Jacqueline did, who did my last challenge and is con continuing on the next challenge as well. Well, there you have it. That is, is a very long video, but it was very worth it. So looking forward to seeing you guys slay my next challenge and make sure you do join because it's something that's definitely going to change your life during this COVID period too.